question, where do you think some of the best recipe ideas come from? It's not me. Back in 30 Hi, this is John from New York City. My channel name is John from New York City Saves Money. Happy almost New Year on this 31st day of December. Where is the time going? Hope that everyone is doing well. Please have a wonderful and safe New Year's Eve. We're going to end my um, New Year's Eve in the morning. <laughs> the last day of the year with a recipe show based on one wonderful recipe. I get a lot of recipes, but this recipe I think really, really works because we've been spending so much money. Hopefully uh, a bunch of us have been putting stuff away in our stockpile and our pantries, and you will probably more than likely have every single ingredient on the list. I want to thank you, Pat, for your wonderful recipe. And I do welcome recipes sent to me too, so that eventually if I have time and opportunity, and if I think that it will be of frugal nature and helpful to the viewer, then we could share it. I think that's a great idea, but always feel free at any time to share your recipe in the comment section below. That you can do any time, any day of the year. So since we're trying to stay home a little more and not run to the grocery store. I feel this one is really, really, really perfect for it. So get a pen and a paper. Give you a second to get your notebook, your trusty notebook or scrap paper. And uh, there's always something to be said about scrap paper. So throughout the year, don't throw it out. You never know. We just want to jot something down quickly. You don't have a trusty notebook and you keep it in something close by and jot, jot, jot. All right. So here we go. I love this. The name of the recipe is called Old West Chuck Wagon Beans. And this can be in actually as a side dish or as a main meal. Ingredients. Listen carefully. One can, 15 ounces of butter beans drained. Next. Two cans, 16 ounces of pork and beans drained. Now, you're probably saying to yourself, why would I drain the juice from a pork and beans can? You'll see. Next, one can, 15 ounces of kidney beans. So it's four cans in total. You can substitute other beans that you prefer and add more beans to these four cans to make even more like lima beans or northern beans or black beans or anazasi beans, which I've never heard of, by the way, just saying, just saying. Many different types are out there to try. Now, you're going to need, if you want to have it, you know, with meat, one pound of ground beef, one half a pound of bacon diced, and Pat has also used uh, bacon bits, four ounces of bacon bits instead. You will need one medium, medium onion, finely chopped. You'll need three quarter cup of brown sugar, three quarters cup of ketchup, one quarter cup of mustard, yellow or Dijon, two teaspoons of white vinegar, one teaspoon of ground pepper, a half a teaspoon of salt, which is optional. And here are the instructions. Instructions. One, brown hamburger meat, the onion, the bacon, in a large skillet over medium-high heat. You're going to drain off the liquid. 
Put this in a crock pot or in a pot on top of stove. Add beans, brown sugar, ketchup, vinegar, mustard, pepper. Stir to blend all ingredients. See, those flavors makes its own sauce. That's probably the reason why one would drain the pork and bean juice. Me? Who knows? I might decide to keep the pork and bean juice. I don't know. I like both. Next, three. Cook on high in your slow cooker or crock pot for four hours or on low for eight hours. Pat says that she stirs it hourly. Cook on top of stove on medium heat in pot with lid until it starts to bubble up. Then turn on low and simmer for three hours. Check the pot. If you're doing it on top of your stove, be sure to check your pot every half hour to watch fluid levels. If it looks dry, add one quarter to a half a cup of water and stir. Number four, taste to see. Taste to see if you need to add more pepper and salt. With the bacon, this requires little extra salt because bacon is by nature salty. Um, Pat says she prefers to use a crock pot. I, I mean, I'm a lover of slow cooker. Any month, doesn't have to be winter time, winter, spring, summer, fall. To me, you know, to me, a slow cooker is the answer. And it is so underrated these days. I know because all the, you know, newer gizmos and gadgets, but they're very convenient and they're very inexpensive. And I hope some of you got one for uh, the recent holiday. And if you don't have a slow cooker, you could get just, if you live alone, you could get yourself a small, slow cooker. Very, very, even the bigger ones are inexpensive. But if you live alone, get the smaller one because to scale it for your needs. Uh, so as said, taste to see if you need to add more pepper and salt with the bacon. This requires little extra salt. She prefers, and so do I, using a crock pot. This isn't chili. But if you like it mildly spicy, you could add chili powder and cayenne pepper to your taste. Pat has also added one quarter cup each of bell peppers to this red or green, orange and yellow gives it a milder taste. Oh, I love when I smell those kind of peppers simmering in a slow cooker throughout the place. Oh, that smell. It's just like you just want to jump into your slow cooker and eat it. <laughs> so cooking is interesting. Yes, it is, Pat. And this is an old West type of recipe. Thank you, Pat. That was so sweet of you to send this recipe. And what I like about it is it's easy to do. It's affordable. This week, the goal, at least for myself and a few others I'm encouraging that may not feel like doing the grocery store gig this time around, start using some of the stuff in your pantry stockpile that may need rotation. And that's its own little errand if you're interested in doing. Go back and see what can actually start getting used up. And this gives you a week break or more if you don't feel like going shopping. Personally, I am all shopped out. You know how it goes in December. Thank you again, Pat. I hope that this recipe helps a bunch of people. Sounds yummy. Thank you again. Well, I want to wish everyone an upcoming Happy New Year. Be sure to come back tomorrow, January 1st, 2022, because there's a very special show. It is a collaboration with Dawn from Sensible Living with Money Mom channel, and we both have a word of the year that we would like to share and talk about. So come back tomorrow, and my upload will be airing um, let me get this right. She comes on 11 o'clock Eastern. I will be uploading mine at, I guess, 10 o'clock. Well, you'll get the notification. And by the way, for those, some people, for some reason, I don't know why this happens, 
just get unsubscribed out of nowhere. And then they say to me, oh, no, I've been unsubscribed. Well, we don't do that, okay? The video creator has nothing to do with that. This is something that just happens. I've been unsubscribed from some of my favorite channels. I'm like, aren't they uploading anymore? Then I go and check. And yes, the creators have been uploading, but I've been unsubscribed. So I have to resubscribe. If that's the case for you, just simply resubscribe, but be sure to tap the notification bell. That might be of help. Okay. Okay, great. I want to wish everybody a wonderful upcoming 2022. Don't party hardy too much. Be safe. Do everything the right way. Enjoy your friends and your family this evening. And everyone take good care. I'm going to close out the show. And I want to personally thank you for a very, very nice 2021. Thank you so much. Going to come back with a wave. But right after this. Have an amazing, fantastic New Year's Eve and a wonderful upcoming New Year. Come back tomorrow for a special show. Take good care. Bye-bye.